I spent most of my boyhood on a river. A lot of things happened there. There used to be a fella in the neighborhood we called Uncle Will. Now he he wasn't anybody's uncle, so we called him Uncle Will. And all there was about six or eight of us kids. He would take down to the river. We would fish. Uh, we would sing. We'd do anything down the river to catch fish or maybe trap birds or rats, anything, any animal we would catch. And this one one particular evening, there was just me and a kid named Sonny Ford and Pete Diener and um, Dub Garner, was all the boys. We were all at that time, I think, I'm guessing we would be 10 or 11 years old. And he wanted us to go what we called frogging. When you come from southern Ohio, it's not frogging, it's frogging. <laughs> so he, he wanted to take us frogging. What that means is you get down to this, this particular body of water, and most people would gig them. They'd take a spear and they'd spear them and they'd catch them. But Uncle Will, he always would take a flashlight and shine in their eyes. And then he would reach down and pick them up and then we'd put them in a gunny sack. And we'd done that, oh, I don't know, maybe for the first hour of the eating, we had a big old sack of frogs. And the first thing you know, I waded out in the river and I thought it was a frog. And it wasn't a frog. It was a big eel. And that eel was probably, I'm guessing what I remember was probably from Mary Beth to here, that long. <laughs> but that big around, the big eel. Now normally, when I was a kid, we ate eels. But this one was too big. And he got his body around me pulled me down under the water and I was just about to drown and Uncle Will come out and he and he had his had had a club with him. He picked up a big club, started beating on the eel. Well the eel grabbed him too. And here we both were. And anybody's smiling, no there's nothing to smile. This is something and I wake up at night screaming. Jeannie's got his dying over there. Uh, what was wrong. Anyway, this eel had both of us. We were down in the water, up and down, up and down. And finally, Pete, he was the oldest boy. I think I was maybe 10. Pete would probably have been 11, maybe closer to 12. And he jumped on the back of this eel, and he put his hand in his mouth like that. And if you, if you choke an eel in the water, he'll drown. So Pete had his hand in there and in his eel's throat, and the first thing you know, the eel let loose of us. And I come up the water, I was about half drowned, and uh, we struggled there for a while, I got up and, and uh, we got Uncle Will out too, and, uh, and we hurried up off the bank. The bank was about from here, <coughs> my house, I'd say here across the river. So we went through the cornfield and uh, they took me to the hospital and uh, they wanted to take my right arm off, but they didn't. They sewed it back on. And Uncle Will laid there for weeks and they finally brought him to. And the eel, as far as I know, he died, but we never went frogging down there again. It's a dangerous place to go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.